Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Last week, I was talking about a good news. Today is the perfect time to disclose it. But before, let's see what we are going to create today. And the good news is, I have an official website now. Which you can find the link in the description. This website has all things, that you were looking for. I have made this website by myself, but you won't believe me, if I told you that, I don't know any single programming language, for designing this nice looking website. You can find all my After Effects tutorials here. Just select any of them, and play it. Composition, ground images, you can download. Hey everyone, have you checked my latest Twitter post? If no, you should check it. But what makes this website so special, this sound effects tab here, which I have made only for you. You can find royalty free sounds effects and music for your animations. Everything is free here. Click here to see my full library, and then select the category you want. Each category has their different type of music. Sound effects to background music, or logo intro music. You can listen to every music before downloading it. You can download any sound easily. Just click on the download button, or right click and select save as. Every sound is in high quality, and without watermark. Right now, these collections are only limited. But I am going to upload each single tutorial sound effects on these relevant categories. These sounds are being used in my tutorials, and you are free to use any of them. In case you are looking for any other sound, you can simply connect me through this contact form. Just fill out your name, email, subject, and your message. I am reading every single email, just like I read every single comment on my YouTube tutorials. In case, you like my work here, you can support me by donating through the PayPal. It will help me to add more stuff to my YouTube channel and website. You already know, I am trying to make After Effects easy for you. So. Visit my website today. Let's jump back to the tutorial. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Stroke Animation. I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. Let's fit our window size, up to 100%. Create a new solid for the background. We will call it Background. I am using a darker shade color, of this color code. You are free to choose any color you like. Now, add your text to this project. You are free to use any font you want. In case you want to use this font, please check the description. Align your text to the center. Now we are going to make strokes from this text. Right click on your text layer and select, create masks, from text. It will create a separate mask for each layer, on a new solid layer. You can always turn on and off your mask, by clicking on this icon. Let's keep it for now. Also, the bottom text layer will be hidden automatically. Now select your top layer, and then go to the effects and presets. Search for the stroke effect and double click on it to apply it to your selected layer. We are going to change few settings for this stroke. But before, let's hide the mask, 
so that we can see stroke carefully. Change paint style to reveal original image. And make sure to check this all masks option. Also, uncheck this stroke sequentially as well. Change brush hardness to 100% and spacing to 0%. We are going to use this end to animate this stroke path. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then click on this stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now go to around 5 seconds, and change end value to 100%. You can see our stroke is animating, as we wanted. Now press U, to open keyframes, select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. In case your graph is not looking the same as mine, make sure you have selected, edit speed graph. Not the value graph. Perfect. Switch back to our main timeline, and RAM preview this animation. Perfect, this looking nice to me. Now the next step is to create the lens flares to each stroke. Select your stroke layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate. Let's hide this bottom layer for a while. Again select the top layer and press U to open keyframes. Go to the first keyframe position, and press Ctrl plus right arrow key, to go to the next frame. Now add a keyframe on the start as well. Go to the next keyframe, make sure to press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, to snap it perfectly. Again press Ctrl plus right arrow key, to go to the next frame. And then change start value to 100%. If you play your animation, you can actually see our stroke is looking like this. But we need to make them round points, not the line. Again select your layer and press U to open keyframes. Now select these both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change your curve to something like this, until we get the dots, instead of lines. Make sure you are changing this keyframe only, not the first one. Or you won't be able to make this. Perfect. This looks great. Jump back to the timeline, and let's change these dots to flares. Go to the effects and presets, and search for box blur. Double click on it to apply it on the same layer. Change blur radius to 10. And then, change blur dimensions to horizontal. It will look like this. Now change iterations to 20, and then you have these nice looking tails. But they are not visible at all. Here is a trick to make them visible. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the glow effect. Double click to apply it on the layer. Add multiple glow effects, until you able to see them. Perfect. They are now visible. I am not changing anything for the glow setting. Let's turn on the bottom layer, and here is our composition. And it will also follow our stroke path as well. Now, let's add a little detail into the flare. I am going to create a center for the flares. Select the top layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate once again. Let's minimize these all effects to make some room for editing effects. If you solo this top layer, you can actually hide all other layers without turning off the visibility of each layer. For creating a center point, we only need to change the setting of this box blur effect. Change the blur radius to zero, and you are done. Unsolo this layer, and you will get the same result. Now, change the mode setting for all stroke layer, open modes, and select screen. Make sure to change this blending mode, for both flare layers. Now you have this nice looking stroke animation with flares. Now we are going to make our text reveal on it. Select this text layer, 
and place it above all layers. Let's turn on the visibility by clicking here. Go to around 4 seconds, and then, search for the CC Burn Film effect, in the effects and presets. Double click on it to apply it on the text layer. Now add a keyframe on the burn, and then change the burn value to 100%. Again go to the 7 seconds, and change burn value to 0%. Also, change the random seed to 10. Now we have this nice looking burn effect. Let's add a gradient to our text. Right click on your text, go to the layer styles, and select gradient overlay. Open this gradient overlay, and then click on edit gradient. You can now edit this gradient. If you click on any of these color stops, you can actually change the color of each stop. Click on the blank area to add another stop. I am using light gray, for the end stops, and dark gray, for the middle stop. It will give me nice looking gradient. You can increase or decrease the gradient size, by dragging these point, to left or right. And it will make your gradient more smooth. Perfect. This is our animation, until now. Let's make these burn animation keyframes, easy as as well. Select both keyframes, and then, you already know that, what we have to do next. Switch back to the timeline, and see what you just created. Cool. Now the final step. Create a new null object. We will use this null, to make a zoom out effect. Let's call it scale. Make sure to go to the first keyframe, and then press S to open scale. Add a keyframe on it. Let's parent our all other layers with this null objects first, so that we can see the live changes. Select all layers, and here is our parent tab. If you don't see this tab here, press F4 to switch between. Now click on the none, and select scale. All your layers will be the parent to the null object. It's time to animate our null. Go to the end frame and change the null scale value to 70%. You can now see, your animation is also scaling down with the null object. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, and do the same thing, as we are doing from last 40 tutorials. Cool. Here we go. Our animation is complete. Make sure to visit my website to download sound for this intro, and I'll see you on next week. Have a nice day.